All of us at some point in our lives have experienced rejection. But who does God say I am when I'm facing rejection? In this episode, we take a look at the early stage in the life of David and how he dealt with rejection. Hi, I'm Glennis Baptiste. Pursue is a podcast meant to ignite within you a passionate commitment to pursue intimacy with God. It provides encouragement to live in grace and truth to embrace how God sees you. This is our journey together to experience transformation. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 in the New Living Translation, God gave the prophet Samuel an instruction to anoint the new king of Israel because of King Saul's disobedience and rebellion. These were his specific instructions in verse 1. It says, Finally, the Lord said to Samuel, You have mourned long enough for Saul. I have rejected him as king of Israel. Now fill your horn with olive oil and go to Bethlehem. Find a man named Jesse who lives there, for I have selected one of his sons to be my new king. We fast forward and Samuel is at Jesse's house. But wait a minute, why didn't God specifically tell Samuel that it was David by name? He did mention his father, Jesse, so we would expect that naturally, right? But God wanted to correct something in Samuel. He wanted to teach Samuel his process of selection. Verse 6 says, When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, Surely, this is the Lord's anointed. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height. For I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't make decisions the way you do. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at a person's thoughts and intentions. Samuel had to unlearn his way of doing things and yield to God's way. Isn't it like God to stop us in our tracks like that to teach us the right way to do things? Verses 8 to 10 tells that not one of the seven sons present were chosen. Now at this point, Samuel must have been a tad bit frustrated because if these were all the sons, then who in the world did God want him to anoint? Up to this point, Jesse has said nothing about David, his other son, the last one, the one who seemed to have been forgotten, insignificant, and rejected. A proud father would present all of his sons, not just the older ones, or the ones whom he perceived to fit the part well listen to how jesse brushes past david as if not willing to call for him verse 11 says then samuel asked are these all the sons you have there is still the youngest jesse replied but he's out in the fields watching the sheep send for him at once samuel said we will not sit down to eat until he arrives imagine how david must have felt when he was summoned not knowing for what reason hurriedly leaving the sheep to get to his father's house and then on arrival seeing the great prophet Samuel inside and all his brothers standing in line as if there was some special ceremony going on. Verse 12 says, So Jesse sent for him. He was ruddy and handsome with pleasant eyes. And the Lord said, This is the one. Anoint him. This is what makes this moment so special. When David showed up, God spoke, not Samuel. The weight of those words highlighted David and dealt with the rejection that was meant for him in that room. God himself spoke against what was speaking against David. There were no objections from Jesse or David's brothers. There was silence in the room as God transferred authority to David. Verse 13 says this, So as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took the olive oil he had brought and poured it on David's head. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him from that day on. Today, God is silencing the voice of rejection in your life. Those feelings of insignificance and neglect that has tried to muzzle you, keep you bound and hold you back. He wants to anoint you afresh because you are his. You are chosen by him. One thing I want to encourage you with is what David said in Psalms 27 verse 10. He said, even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. In the face of rejection, God is holding you close to him. So reach for his embrace. Daily declare these words boldly over your mind and feelings. I am the beloved of God. I am chosen 
and anointed by him. Join me next week, God's willing, as we continue this series on identity. Thank you.